Hey guys, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I am all fired up here today. We just arrived a brand new 2021 Grand Design Momentum G-Class 29G travel trailer toy hauler. It is the G-Wagon of toy hauler travel trailers, folks. And uh, there is a ton, a ton, absolute ton of stuff to uh, talk on this uh, new arrival to our dealership. This is the 2021 model, folks. So you are seeing the freshest built uh, toy hauler travel trailer that Grand Design builds. And like I said, this just arrived today. So it's gone through a 2000 mile shake test. I love saying this on the videos, folks, because I felt over the years that with other brands, other manufacturers we've carried, that we are like the last 80 feet of the assembly line because we got to fix stuff when it arrives. You are seeing this trailer as it came off the back of the truck uh, that towed it here, folks, um, which is really good. And that's, I have 100% confidence in Grand Design's manufacturing processes, the PDI that every single trailer goes through before it leaves their facility uh, ensures that when the trailer arrives here at our dealership, if you were at our store and it is hooked up to the back of the driver's truck, I have 100% confidence to walk you out to any Grand Design trailer and show it to you. Uh, and that's just how they manufacture it, folks. A lot of manufacturers are really cutting corners where Grand Design shines in how they uh, manufacture their products. So we're gonna jump into it. This particular toy hauler travel trailer, folks, is 33 feet, 11 inches in length. It's a really nice size. It's not gigantic, but you also get a really nice enclosed rear 11 foot garage. So. Um, you know, if you've got that shorter side-by-side, -side, a quad, couple of motorbikes, whatever, uh, you can fit it in the back of the garage on this, uh, this toy hauler travel trailer, folks. But we're gonna jump into it right up here up front. Again, true to form for Grand Design quality, folks. This has the two-thirds cap. It is a fully painted cap, automotive paint. It's not a gel coat cap. They do the really nice LED lights, with, you know, integrated into the front cap to really help with the aesthetics of the front end but if you notice there's a lot of hard edges and ridges designed into this front cap this is a structure cap a lot of manufacturers it's a lot cheaper to build a cap when it's just a one you know smooth surface with grand design they're putting those ridges uh, and design into the front cap so that the front cap goes on square you want a squarely built trailer it's very important for towability for slide outs to work to go in and out properly all of those things the other thing to note on this travel trailer toy hauler folks this is a wide body so this is as wide as a solitude as a momentum fifth wheel as a diesel pusher motorhome it's 101 inches wide which gives you that extra width uh, in the trailer for you know floor plan availability unique floor plans and this does have a unique floor plan uh, which is really really cool and we'll jump into that when we get up inside but we optioned in there's a ton of options like if you're uh, in want to go off grid this one is completely equipped to do so. I've optioned it out with the 4,000 watt gas generator. It's built right up underneath here with the exhaust pipe. Uh, it's hooked up to your 30 gallon fuel tank. It's the same fuel tank that you would use for your fuel station that I'll show you further back. Uh, and then the other thing, a special surprise I'll show you uh, when we get up on top of the roof as well. So again, this trailer is fully equipped to go off the grid. If you're into the outwoods, backwoods camping, and um, you know pulling the machines out and letting her rip uh, you can stay on you know total boondock camping on this one also you've got your enclosed utility center here with outside shower you can hook up your fresh water connection to this uh, you've got your black tank flush here as well you sanitize through here you have a water pump switch it has the uh, the b and b utility center on here um, which is very similar to the nautilus all color coded very easy to use battery disconnect switch motion sensor lighting all of it's right here and you can best part you know you can keep that locked and closed which is nice and since we're on the water and tanks you've got a hundred gallon fresh water capacity on this trailer which is absolutely fantastic uh, your gray capacity is 57 gallons and your black is 57 gallons as well and i'm just going to shoot up underneath here so that you can see the underbelly of the trailer see fully enclosed heated underbelly You've got a couple of gate valves to drain the water lines inside the trailer. They're not little half inch lines with caps in them. Again, massive water capacity. So one, you basically have like two tanks, fresh tanks connected. 
uh, in the underbelly of the trailer. It's not one big gigantic uh, 100 gallon tank. Uh, you've got, I wouldn't say they're 250 gallons in here uh, in the underbelly, but those blade valves are there to drain. But you can see they spray foam around all the openings. You do have an R30 through the floor of this trailer. That's right from the outside enclosure all the way through. And those gate valves, if you see that gate valve there, that handle, you don't actually see the valve. It's up inside the heated area as well where it's protected, thermal insulated. And the 30,000 BTU furnace in this trailer has a dedicated heat duct off of it going into the belly of the trailer to keep those tanks nice and warm. Um, coming down the side of the trailer here as well, they've upgraded this year. They've gone to the Goodyear Endurance tires. You still get the same five year, 12 months, no questions asked replacement warranty. Uh, with this product, uh, but a lot of people really like the Goodyear name and that's what they've uh, they've gone to on this particular tire. And it is a 16-inch tire as well, so it's really nice, big and beefy. Uh, Dexter towing system, so you got the Dexter uh, uh, axles, brakes, and, uh, and hubs as well. And the nice thing is you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway, uh, which is really, really cool. The other thing I'll show you on this particular trailer here, you've got a unloaded vehicle weight as it's stamped at the factory with the options that it came with is 9,160 pounds and you have a GVWR of 12,000 pounds. So you can put 2,800 pounds worth of cargo uh, into this particular trailer, which is really, really nice. Now, one thing that Grand Design does, folks, okay, um, they don't give you a weight rating for your garage floor you can put as much weight in the garage as you possibly can as long as you do not exceed the GVWR of the trailer. So some manufacturers and your travel trailer toy haulers, they'll limit you to how much weight you can put in the garage. With Grand Design folks, they don't limit you. You can put all 2,800 pounds worth of cargo right into the garage. And note, the 100 gallons of fresh water capacity um, is, is US gallons, so it's like 8.3 pounds per gallon of water. So it's a little bit less on the conversion than what you would get here in ca uh, Canada, okay? Um, fuel station on this one as well. It's a little dirty here, of course, forgive me for that. We haven't actually washed it. Uh, the driver gives it a spray off before they drop it off, but you do have the fuel station here as well, which is really, really nice. And that's connected to your fuel tank, which is right up underneath here, and that will feed your generator as well as your fuel station also. So you got the spot for your sewer hose there. Super slick. Uh, fold up and down ladder on this one as well, which is nice that ladder will fold up flat. Couple things way Grand Design builds their products, folks. Every vertical wall panel is fully laminated. Um, block foam insulation, aluminum tubing, fully bead welded. Things like this where you see this ladder going in with these screws there'll be a sheet of steel laminated in that sidewall for that steel screw to go into. Um, unlike it just going into like a fiberglass and foam or into a hollow aluminum tube, you'll find a lot of manufacturers, folks, they don't stuff their aluminum tubes with wood dowels. And that's very important because you wanna be able to have that steel screw go into your aluminum tube into a wood dowel to support that steel screw. Because if you don't, over time, as your trailer's going down the highway, it's flexing and it's stressing, you will have that steel screw wear that hole a little bit bigger and that's where you get you know your sealant giving way corner moldings come loose moisture intrusion happens all of those things you know you come up here on their slide boxes folks grand design builds walk on slide boxes because the roof of the slide is laminated insulated uh, aluminum framed just like the sidewall is super strong but all these steel screws are going into an aluminum tube stuffed with a wood dowel some manufacturers, they don't put those wood dowels in to save weight uh, and cost for that matter. Grand Design isn't afraid to spend the money on those things. And they were the first manufacturer folks to build their RVs with a three year structural warranty. Okay. They did that right in their inception when they started their company back in 2012, three year structural warranty. The difference compared to Grand Design and all the others out there is that they built their product to support their three-year structural warranty, okay? They don't wanna have to pay warranty claims if they don't have to. If you don't want to, just build it properly. Some of the other manufacturers, folks, as of recent, have come out with a three-year structural warranty. The difference in most cases is they didn't change actually how they built their products because they're restricted by their assembly lines. 
all they did was raise the price of their products to uh, accommodate the influx of warranty claims. You know, you're still getting hung walls and you're still getting non-walk-on roofs and non-walk-on slide boxes and all of those things um, that Grand Design, uh, you know, Grand Design is doing all of those things. A lot of manufacturers aren't. So we optioned in the rear patio deck on this as well. When you get the rear patio deck, you do get an upgraded door. They do laminate in a sheet of steel uh, in the floor to be able to, you know, just strengthen up that door. Uh, these, this railing will fold down against the deck. You do have the electric power awning at the back. If you see, there's an LED light strip right up top there. So that will, you know, brighten up your rear patio in the evening, but it's also your uh, backup light as well. When you have your trailer hooked up to your truck and you put it into reverse, that will illuminate the back of the trailer to help you back up at night. So pretty cool, pretty cool feature. Um, on this model, on the entry side, folks, you do get an 18 foot power awning. It's fully adjustable, dual entrances, one going right into your garage. So if you have guests in the rear of this trailer, we also optioned in the, the, um, the rollover sofas and, and, and bed system, Happy Jack bed system. So if you have guests, um, they can go in and out of their private rear bedroom, um, you know, keeping them a little separate. There's also a little half bath in the, in the rear as well of the trailer, uh, which is really, really slick. So. Again, triple entry step, lend a hand, grab handle on both doors. This folks, if you're into pumping your music and you love to entertain, this has a Rockford Fosgate stereo system that will knock your socks off. It is absolutely unbelievable. I'm just hooked up to the 12 volt power here, but we'd love to have you come by our dealership and we'd, we can blast it up for you and show you what that Rockford Fosgate is all about. Now, the R values, I'm throwing a ton of detail at you folks. I don't edit these videos. I just free flow it and give you as much information as I can. We go deep on these, okay? Um, with it, um, R values, you have an R40 through your roof, down your front cap. On the G-Class travel trailers, you have an R7 in your sidewall uh, as well. So really, really good R values and that R30 in your floor also. Um, we optioned in, part of it I mentioned earlier, off the grid style camping. This has a 300 watt, um, solar panel on the roof and i believe if i recall it's like a 1500 watt inverter i'm sorry you forgive me um, i believe they offer it on two different could be the 2000 watt inverter but if you're at let's say a campground and they won't let you run your generator at a certain time um, you can have that inverter on and it will allow you to run your entertainment and power a laptop and you know those sorts of things and then if you've got the trailer parked or you are boondock and you're out quadding for the day and you don't have your generator running um, you've got the 300 watt solar panel on the roof charging your battery. So uh, I'm going to jump up on the roof here. Just going to come back around this side and uh, show you what the roof is all about and uh, go from there. Just a sec. All right, friends, I'm on the roof of this uh, Momentum G Class 29G travel trailer toy hauler. And yeah, you're seeing it that 300 watt Jaboni solar panel uh, mounted right up on the roof. I'm big on to, uh, you know, boondock camping and uh, you know dry camping off the grid style but i also really like the solar option for people that park their trailers and storage compounds because i hate messing with batteries in you know the season having to take you know dead batteries off and bringing them home and putting a charger on them having a solar panel on your roof will simplify your life and rv ownership experience greatly uh, which is good and i highly recommend any rv bought by anybody to put a solar panel up on the roof okay uh, you've got a 15,000 BTU Coleman mock air conditioning, air conditioner tack attached to their racetrack duct system, folks. This is one of the most efficient AC systems on the market. Um, you know, the testing that they've done with this, minimal power draw and maximum cooling capability, making it very quiet as well. And it's the Coleman mock. A lot of other manufacturers are using a cheaper versions by other manufacturers, but Grand Design uses exclusively the Coleman brand air conditioner. Now up on their roof, they use a 16 inch on center wood truss. It's the exact same roof they use in all of their products. Okay, right from the momentum, fifth wheel, solitudes, all the way down through the transcend. It is the best roof to put on, so why not put it on all of their trailers? Uh, full walk-on roof, it's gonna handle a snow load. When you get two feet of snow, two and a half, three feet of snow up on your roof in the springtime, it starts to melt, it gets really, really heavy. And so to have a full walk-on roof with the wood decking, the TPO roof membrane on this, you get that 12-year warranty, it's the Alpha Superflex product, so it's more pliable, 
it flexes but it's also abrasion resistant from you know tree branches rubbing down the top you can repair it very very easily and the nice thing about the roof membrane that they use is it doesn't get those black spots in the chalking uh, that you get with like a rubber roof or some of the other cheaper products out in the industry so you don't have to worry about those ugly streaks coming down the side of your trailer which is nice uh, but right up front skylight right above your bathroom you've got a ton of roof vents one in your bathroom one in your bedroom one in, in your kitchen uh, another one in your uh, half bath in the rear and then one in your garage so tons of ventilation in this trailer uh, this is your WineGuard TV antenna. No more T roof style, crank up style TV antenna. You don't have to worry about leaving your TV antenna up and having a tree branch gobble, gobble it up as you're going through the campground. And also one thing that Grand Design engineers into all of their roofs is an attic vent. And that's what this is right here. That's an attic vent right there that you want your roof to be able to breathe. If you look at a lot of trailers, folks, um, if you're doing some cold weather style camping, propane heat has a lot of moisture in it. And just from you breathing and using the trailer and cooking on the inside, a lot of products, they use a laminated roof just because it's quicker to build and quicker to put that, that type of trailer together. The issue is your trailer doesn't breathe and literally, if it's cold outside and warm on the inside of the trailer, literally you'll, you'll feel like it's raining inside your trailer because moisture builds up on, those, on the inside of those laminated roofs and the moisture doesn't escape and you want to, to escape. Moisture is the number one killer of RVs. And then the other thing that it does is it just allows them that, that roof again to breathe, helps you keep a much warmer roof inside the trailer as well. Um, and they've got it done right with their industry leading R values, which is good. And then the last, the last thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna jump down onto this slide box here. Again, fully laminated slide box, folks. You go do the tap dance on any other slide out on a lot of other products in the industry. One, you may not get a ladder to get up on top of the roof because they don't have a walk on roof. Uh, but secondly, they may not want you to walk on the slide just because it's not structurally sound. Every single slide box that Grand Design builds, folks, full walk on, whether it's a transcend, their entry level into the, the, the travel trailer segment, all the way up to a solitude, folks, you can walk on their slide boxes. They're that, they're that strong. So I'm going to jump down. I've been up on the roof long enough and uh, we're going to jump inside just a sec. All right, friends, we're going to rip around the entry side of the trailer and uh, jump up inside. As I mentioned, 30,000 BTU furnace capability. You know what? We're going to jump in the garage on this one first. Come in the rear garage. This has a cool slingshot style screen door. Automatically closes. So if you got the little ones, you know, little ones, they walk in and out. They may not forget, forget to close the screen. All of a sudden, your trailer's full of mosquitoes. Uh, you've got the slingshot there to help keep that door closed, which is super slick. And then the interior handle, exterior handle, without having to slide this open. That's another thing we do. You open this up to access the handle that's on the outside for the old style screen doors and you forget to close this and it's another access point for mosquitoes and flies and all sorts of things. So this, you can keep this closed and unlock, unlock that, uh, that door, that latch, super easy. Okay, I'm on the inside of our 29G garage. This is 11 feet. Look at all the anchors you get, a ton of anchors. And these anchors are rated for 2,500 pounds. The other thing that they do is they dovetail the rear of deck. So this actually slopes down. So if you have a low, like let's say a motorbike that sits a little lower to the ground, um, that dovetail helps you get in without rubbing out the bottom of your machine, uh, which is really, really nice. You got the plugs in the floor. It has a table you could do here as well. Uh, little flip down armrests with cup holders. Beautiful. I love the detail they've gone to in the, uh, the, the sofas here in the back. And these will actually roll over and meet in the middle. Just show you. Flip this down, boom. And you got a queen size bed right there. Also, one up top. You can pin this bed up so you get more headroom for livability. Uh, you can set it up where the upper bed, this one here, sits at about uh, right about this height here. So you've got two full queen size beds. You can see four adults back here very, very comfortably, uh, which is nice. Um, the other thing is that these sofas, when you have a machine in here, you have these flipped up. So you flip these back down into bed position and then raise this, this uh, bed up so it just sits below. But if you have a machine with a roof on it, you can actually fold these sofas flat back down against the wall here to give you the increased headroom that you would get all the way up to the bottom side of this, uh, this upper bed here. So tons of tons of flexibility with this uh, rear garage. You do have the uh, anti-marring um, fuel, like the, the, the way that this, this uh, material is, it doesn't absorb smells and fuel and those sorts of things. 
Uh, some people will even get a carpet cut and roll that out and transform it into a rear living room. Not all people use toy haulers for hauling machines like dirt bikes and motorbikes. Some people will use them as a garage to be able to put kayaks in or mountain bikes or what have you. There's a ton of flexibility with a toy hauler or they use it as just a rear bunk room, a big rumpus room for the, for the kids. So we're on the, uh, the rear deck here. This has the, I optioned in the three season garage wall. So there's uh, panels that, that climb up or that you can slide up and you can keep this open, this deck open and have people sleep back here and still keep the heat in and handle the rain and the cooler temperatures and all of those things, uh, which is really, really nice. You can see that uh, LED light strip there, which is super slick, power awning to help protect, keep the sun off. If you want to sit outside and enjoy the outdoors, you have some dogs or something that want to hang out on the patio without letting them loose in the, uh, in the camp space. Uh, you, you know, you can do that with this, uh, with this model here. So this just slides across here and meets in the middle with the other, other door. I'll show you that. Latches in and then it meets in the middle. There's a latch there in the middle. We've got it open to the screen right now, but there's a tinted panel that'll slide up and uh, you got a totally protected three season garage wall there, which is super slick. So love the garage on this product folks, 11 foot. And the other thing you get is the half bath for guests, right? So you got the toilet and the sink. You have guests, they can stay with you. They get their own little suite in the back of the trailer. Very comfortable, extra storage up top for bags and extra clothing and helmets and all the things that go along with it. You can mount a television back here if you want. Uh, the other thing, I don't know if I mentioned the ties in the ground, forget I may have mentioned it, but 2,500 pound capacity. You can really cinch those bad boys down. The other thing in this product, uh, one piece floor. So seamless transition from your rear garage into your living area. And this is where the slide outs are. So you've got the theater seating uh, in your entryway. This slides out on the entry side of your trailer. Great big windows, theater style seating. So uh, they recline out all three. And then this middle one has an armrest that will flip down if it's just two people sitting here, super comfy. And uh, you can kick these back. They recline right out, which is really, really nice. Uh, you've got a little hutch here with some added storage upper cabinets beautiful look i love the tile look uh, backsplash there and then your counter space here in your kitchen furion uh, oven and range with the blue lighting one piece stainless steel sink love the look if you want to make you know not use as much water a lot of people just get a small rubber made container and set it in there but they do put the back window in there the tile backsplash furion range hood microwave like look at the storage in here like the cabinetry in here is so pro so beautiful they add the shelf in there for you it's where a lot of manufacturers to save money they'll raise the cabinet up you'll open it's just one big dead space grand design they lower the cabinets down make it easier for the you know smaller people in the world to be able to access this the, the the cabinetry and your your contents inside and they give you double the storage with that you got the lighting above beautiful space and then television, that's on a swing arm, storage below and above, all the gear. Uh, nice thing, we gotta take care of the puppies, our four-legged friends, they got the, the pet dishes there, which is nice. One thing to note folks, DNA item, Grand Design, no heat ducts in their floors. That's one of their DNA items that they built into all of their products since day one. There, I'll throw that out, the odd caveat, a fifth wheel may have a duct on the floor up in the bedroom, depending on the layout, uh, but on this particular model, no heat ducts in the floor. Why? One, they're not cutting a big groove down the middle of your floor and punching holes in it, which can over time develop soft spots. Also more even heat distribution. Um, when you have one track coming off your furnace, usually by the, by the end, it hits the end, there's really no air coming out of it. And usually I know my wife and I, we had a trailer one time with the kids. Our kids in the back bunk room were freezing cold and we were getting smoked out out front because the furnace was right there and we were getting blasted more heat distribution, better heat distribution in the Grand Design trailer. And um, you know you don't have to worry about the, the dog hair and the kids' toys and the dirt and debris going down into the, uh, the heat ducts on the floor. So very, very solid one piece floor. They're doing it right. The television now, folks, Roku TV, it's a smart TV also. So if you're at a campground that you can suck Wi-Fi in on, um, you can hook up your Netflix and stream your Netflix right off the campground's uh, Wi-Fi station or Wi-Fi connection. You've got your convenience center, has your slide switch, your awning switch, interior, exterior lighting, your hot water heater in this trailer, folks. 
is gas and electric. That's these two switches here. With both switches on, you get 17.8 gallon quick recovery per hour, which is unbelievable. So you're not having to wait, you know, 10, 15 minutes between showers. You know, one person can hop in, do their quick five minute camping shower. The next person can hop in and one after another and you're gonna get uh, get lots of um, lots of hot water, which is nice. Motion sensor lighting right at your front door as well. So if it's nighttime out after you've been riding machines, you come back, you walk in, and the light automatically turns on and greets you when you come in. So, um, what more can I talk about in here? Big subwoofer up top. That's part of the Rockford Fosgate stereo system. You got the stainless steel inlay on the uh, on the refrigerator as well. And then your bathroom's right at your front door as well. So you've got a great big, great, great big shower with skylight above. Tons of headroom up here. Dual access. Okay, porcelain foot flush toilet. And then you got the cheater coming into your, uh, into your bedroom cheater door here. So this bed hinges in half. Okay, and that's what allows it to be an island bed in a shorter layout. But it's still a residential size bed. So your residential fitted sheets will go around it. It's 60 inches wide by 80 inches long, lots of storage and uh, an island bed. So you're not having to crawl over one another to get in and out of bed. A lot of toy haulers I found, especially the travel trailer ones over the years, folks, when you, you know, to get the slide outs and all of those sorts of things, they'll take this bed and jam it in the front corner of the trailer. Whereas this, you've got that, uh, that island bed, but look at the great big mirror you got. Helps, you know, expand the interior look of the trailer. You got the hutch with the storage down below here. This is all backlit as well. There's light in behind, strip lighting all the way around. Makes it look really cool, but look at all the storage you get. Counter space for your devices, and then you get a hanging wardrobe right here at the foot of your bed in the corner. So, tons of capacities, tons of quality, tons of feature content, and hey, all supported by a dealership. We have been in the RV industry for 35 plus years. Started in Red Deer back in the mid 80s. And uh, that's all we do, we do RVs, that's all we do. And uh, we're a commitment to our facilities, uh, to our people. You know, when you come to a Woody's RV dealership, you're gonna run into a beautiful facility. You know, we're not a fly-by-night dealership. All of our dealerships, lots are paved, as you can see. We're all about the customer's experience, totally covered area. You know, we can have four RVs parked under there. We've got 30 amp power. We've got water to be doing proper orientations and deliveries for our customers, ensuring an unbelievable experience. And uh, we're at a little dealership here. I'm exclusive Grand Design Towables, and I'm so happy to represent this product for what it does, what it represents, how they support the customers, yourselves, us as a dealership, and uh, cutting edge industry leading products is uh, always fun to pitch and talk about. As you can tell, I'm a pretty passionate guy when it comes to RVing and, and the Grand Design products. I think they do just a phenomenal job. Um, check out our reviews, folks. You know, dealerships are not all the same, uh, what they represent and what they, what they do. Type into Google, Woody's RV World Leduc, and read some of those. Uh, those are organically created reviews from our customers who have chosen to do business with us. And I thank you. Uh, for all you customers that have done business with us and supported us and all the families that are are supported by the people that work here and the people that buy RVs from us so again my name is Clayton Phillips I'm the sales manager here we're working hard we'll work hard to earn your business and help come alongside you in your RV journey and hopefully we're the dealership for you give us a call 780-986-1234 and uh, we're here to help and uh, get you camping and having fun you take care, be safe, and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye for now.